Mr. Tulsian also joins in. Mr. Tulsian, I've been meaning to ask you about this LNT deal uh, since the start of trade, but uh, what did you make of it, the deal with the Future Generali, and how would you approach all the stocks in question? See, Sonia, definitely a positive move on part of the Pantaloon group because they are trying to pair their debts. In fact, a couple of weeks back, they have you know, divested part of the stake, very minority stake in the life insurance business and now they have gone and divested in the non-life insurance business. But strangely, that is not seen getting reflected into the share price of Pantaloon. In fact, in, 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 in a way, it is positive for the stock and in fact, the stock should have fared well because the process mm -hmm. of the divestment has started and the remaining even 23% stake, you know, which is held by the, uh, by, by the promoters in their personal capacity are also likely to get sooner or later divested. So overall, uh, 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 promoters of that is Biani, Bianis are doing uh, or have been taking some steps. They have indicated that 3,000 crore rupees they are looking to realize from the non-core assets. So sooner or later, that should reflect, you know, in, into the share price po in, in a positive way for Pent loan. Now, coming specifically on LNT Finance, I don't think that this is really such a big event because market is not too enthused if any company is acquiring the stake in the insurance business, whether you talk of the life or you talk of general. In fact, we have seen that happening in case of Excite that nothing positive has been seen there. So, mm. overall, it should it is, it is neutral for the other stock but should be positive for Pent loan. Hmm. So, Sian, how do you approach this news flow on Gale where the Tamil Nadu government has objected to Gale's pipeline project and has asked the company to stop installing the pipeline immediately? Do you think it, it, it will have a meaningful impact? See, Sonia, very unfortunate In fact, from the development point of view. You know, sometimes this politics really spoils the economic development, which in fact, you know, has been very positive. They have, you know, asked the Gale to lay the pipeline along the highway and not to use the farmland. I, I don't know the intensity, honestly, you know, whether the things are really so bad for the farmers that, you know, it can really jeopardize their, uh, their, their farming activity or not. But, you know, definitely the things are, this pipeline would have been very useful, you know, Kochi, uh, uh, this pipeline. And I, I don't know the, the, as I said, but yes, any kind of deviation or delay or, you know, in, in operations of these, these things definitely will be seen negative for the gale. So maybe short term effect as such, the stock has not been, you know, the favorite of the market for the last maybe one, one and a half month, you know, it has been correcting. But yes, these type of, type of news flows, you know, further deteriorates the position. So yes, in the near term, it, it is seen negative. Mm. Mr. Tulsian, afternoon. Any idea why REC and PFC are showing a comeback today? Honestly, no, no idea because maybe, you know, one can uh, generalize, you know, by saying that uh, could be the buying at the lower level, but I don't think that that is this, that is a correct reasoning for the stocks, you know, to move up. Yes, the stocks have corrected, but unless until we see some significant improvement on, happening on the power front, you know, in the, in respect to their health. I don't think that why this stock should move up and if these stocks, if both these stocks are moving up, then definitely we should see the positive impact coming on the so many PSU banking stocks also like PNB, OBC, Canara Bank, Bank of Baroda, you know, who have a good exposure to the power generation or maybe the uh, power distribution portfolio and that should be, that should in fact get spread to all. So honestly, unable to pinpoint the reason for these twins to move up today. Uh, Mr. Tilsian, um, what is happening with Reliance? There's, there's a lot of fears uh, about, you know, reduction in terms of KGD6 production. But what do you think is plaguing the stock for today in particular? See, honestly, I don't think that there is any specific reason for the for the share to correct today because yesterday we have seen that oil and gas index was quite, you know, doing quite well and today, in fact, it is the exactly the reverse. Oil and gas index is down by about one, one and a half percent largely because of the Reliance Industries. I don't think that the fall of production, fall in production of, of KG Basin, you know, is really a big concern because that's a known fact that it is continuously now, you know, declining maybe marginally now from here on. So this just, you know, sometimes if you have the long liquidations ahead of the expiry or closure to the expiry or maybe some profit booking or in the form of the selling coming in, you know, you see this kind of things coming in, uh, this kind of corrections happening in the stock and we have been seeing it moving in a range of about, uh, uh, no, no doubt that today it has corrected below 800 which, which itself is a, is a concern for the stock but I don't think that there is any specific negative for the stock to correct. What is your view on how the April series will pan out? Do you also believe, like Sudarshan, that uh, for from an investor point of view, the month of April will be as bad as the month of March has been so far? See, Sonia, if you knock off the political event, if somebody can really take a call and predict that what is going to happen on the moves like uh, we have seen on the Samajwadi Party and 
all sort of things. If you knock off this political uncertainty, you know, from the on the domestic front, I, I am expecting that uh, April series should be better, should be less volatile. But yes, if you have these kind of events coming in, which again, you know, I don't think that the political upheaval he will will also be seen in the month of April because whatever the news has come, but the kind of uh, noises we have been hearing that Mulayam Singh will be having a big rally after Holi, and that will, that, you know, that may again, you know, try, he may try to prove his muscle power and you know try to make an efforts to 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 put all the pe people together today we have been hearing that congress is looking for a support of janata dal that is nitish kumar and all all sort of things so honestly i am not expecting that much uh, political you know volatility will be seen in the market so expecting a slightly better month than what we have seen for the for the month of march hmm. and how would you approach the bharti stock now i mean it's been up one day down one day but uh, what would the uh, you know medium term approach be See, Sonia, I gave my earlier view also that you know I see 280, 282 as a strong support. In fact, if you if you see this stock coming to those levels, go go for go and create long position. And if you see a price of 305, exit from it. But now we are exactly you know seeing the stock ruling in the midpoint. So it is better that we watch for it. Maybe you know 300 or 305 could we look to short the stock? But I won't uh, create the long position at this stage. We should pull up the intraday charts of uh, a lot of these sugar stocks because there's some more comments coming in from the government where they say that there's no monthly restriction that will be uh, imposed on non-levy sugar sale in the April to September period. Sri Renuka is seeing a bit of a bounce on the upside from the lower levels. Uh, Mr. Tulsi, I just wanted to uh, bounce these comments off you. Anything um, new that the market should know? No, Sonia. In fact, you know, it 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 indicates that even the government is tired of. Firstly, if you recall, maybe about 18 months back, it used to be the monthly quota. Then they made it qu quarterly, and now they made it six monthly. So, you know, this indicates that all these release mechanism has no meaning. But since government cannot dismantle, you know, probably maybe in the guise of the partial decontrol, they'll say that okay, we are dismantling the release mechanism and dismantling the co the the levy sugar also. So probably these two things are uh, awaited by the market. But as of now, it is. non you know it it has no meaning whether it remains uh, quarterly basis or it remains six monthly because you don't have to adhere to the monthly release norms even if you have not release on a monthly a monthly basis you don't have to break this 10.4 million ton into six parts you know one one has the flexibility of selling either the entire quantity in april or the entire quantity in september so it is meaningless this release mechanism in my view has no meaning now mm. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Tulsian, you've commented on this before, but at 780, do you think one should perhaps get into the stock? Sonia, as an investor, I'll advise to go go and you know enter into the stock maybe with a view of about one to two months, and if you do that, probably a level of 825, 830 can be seen in the stock. Hmm. Mr. Tulsian, uh, one one question to you with regard to NMDC. It would be included uh, in the Nifty come April first. What, what are you expecting on that stock, given that valuation-wise, uh, it, it does look very attractive? So, where is it headed from here? That's right, Nigel. In fact, you know, as you have rightly said, that it looks on a on a valuation front, it looks. quite attractive at the current price and if you if it gets included in the nifty obviously that will be also be having some you know positive effect on the stock because obviously if the basket buying happens then you know this also gets included and now uh, after after ofs in fact the stock is you know the in in in, in the investment list of the fis and all that so keeping the positive stance probably you know we can we can uh, expect a move of about maybe 10% or so in in next one to